Okay, let's see how we can use Revit to input some property line values and um, and draw some property lines. So up in the upper right, I made a copy from the parcel viewers map so that I can see what my input should be. And so I'm going to create a new Revit file using an architectural template. And I'm going to go to my site plan view. That's where I'm going to do stuff. I'll hide my markers here just really quick. Hide. Whoopsie, that should have been category. Hide the category in the view. And look, these lines are going to be like 490 feet. And so if I want to fit that on a piece of paper, I think it's going to be one inch equals 40 feet. And to do property lines, I'm going to go to the Massing and Site tab and put in property lines by entering the bearings and the distances. So I'm going to come up here and it says my first one is 428.1 feet. 428.1 tab. And the angle is south. So I'm going to type south tab and then I'm going to delete this stuff because that's not what I want it's one degree space 46 minutes 30 seconds east and then I need a new line then I go 146.5 due west so that's going to be north 90 degrees west and now I'm ready for my next line and it says I go 419.5 19.5 I'm just reading that right over here way up in this corner 419.5 says I go north 1 degree 46 and I think that's supposed to be 30 north 1 space 46 space 30 tab west now comes my 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 next one that's a little bit hard okay there's an arc it's a curve and the curve is on a radius of four, 574 but it gave me the cord that's the straight line from end to end of this curve and it's 65.8 at a certain degree. So I can say the distance 65.8. And the angle of the cord is north. Got that right. And then it's 84 degrees space 48 minutes space 22 to the east. And it's an arc. And the arc has a radius of 574 point six and I've tried this already I can never tell if it's right or left it's actually a left arc that means it puffs out and then I'm gonna close I'm just gonna add a line to close and see it says it's 80.8 close to 80.8 this one says it's 80.8 feet this says 88 degrees, 7 minutes, 37. It says 85. So there's, there's something just a little bit off between the two of these. The length is right, but their angle seems to be just a little bit different. But uh, I'm going to go by my Revit making it closed. So I'll hit OK. And there it is. There's my there's my shape. And I'm gonna move it so that it's right on there. And if you remember what that shape looked like, this was the place on Winding Way. It's pretty darn close. But let's just find out and see. Let's let's go to annotate this thing and we'll tag it by category. And I'll tag my lot lines says there isn't one lot lines 
are in the U.S. Imperial Library under Annotations and Civil. And I'll just put in a regular property line tag. Property line. And I'll tag, 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 tag. And I'm going to even tag this one. But if you'll notice, it didn't tag it with the radius. It just tagged it with what that, that, um, the cord was. So to get that part right, I need to insert a new family and I'm going to put one in that has a radius on it. And that way when I click on this, I can change myself to one with a radius. Oh, look at that. 65.8 with a radius. Now I'm going to show you one other thing. I get this as 62,000 square feet. That is really, really important to me later on. Instead of 56,000. When it comes to subdividing this property, if we were to do so, that would get me an extra unit I could put on this property. So it's really important to get these things drawn right. Don't believe everything's on here, but I did go by that. And that's how I make my my first property line for this location.